Carla. Um, since our motion last week to reverse the increase in funding for the commercial greyhound racing industry, I've heard very little uh, legitimate defence of the sector from its proponents. I've seen no serious efforts to address the loss-making nature of the industry or animal welfare concerns or even acknowledgement of them. What I have seen are attacks of a personal nature on those of us who do not want to see over two million of an increase in funding for a sector whose custom and practices have been so discredited. Here is some of what was said about me. A member of the Irish Greyhound Board, Wayne McCarthy, referred to me as an ignorant little girl. He is, on, he is, a, bo he is a board member of a state organisation. Just a long practice in the dawn. He's a board member of a state organisation whose wages are paid out of the staggering 19.2 million the industry will receive in 2021, paid by the taxpayer, paid by you, paid by all of us. I wasn't deeply hurt or offended by Mr. I won't say his name from now on then. Uh, I wasn't offended or deeply hurt by his comments. My initial reaction was to, to just ignore it. I instinctively felt that it didn't deserve any energy or thought. Indeed, I didn't want to waste my speaking time addressing it today. But when a Fine Gael TD apologised for liking these sentiments, I couldn't avoid the amount of calls I was getting from the media for a response. The unfortunate reality of this situation is I wasn't deeply hurt or offended because I'm used to these kind of gendered, gendered comments. I rightly don't take personal offence, but in reality, too many women are subject to too many comments which seek to demean and belittle, and this offends all women. In the past week, in relation to the Social Democrats' motion to reverse the increase in state funding to this industry, I have been referred to as Airy Fairy, a dangerous, dangerous woman, um, and uh, a fool. It wouldn't be appropriate in this chamber to recite some of the other language that has been used. Uh, women everywhere are experiencing the same kind of everyday sexism in different ways every day. We're tired of it. Um, and so, as the only female TD in all of Cork City and County, I feel the need to address the sexism that we are all so used to. I feel the need to put it on the dull record that a board member of a state organisation in 2020 spoke about it, an elected woman in that way. And I feel the need to say that there can be no excuse for this because there is no excuse. I don't want to use my speaking time in this House on this issue to address this everyday sexism. Women all over Ireland, including me, wish they didn't need to address this at all. But there is no alternative when we can't ignore it either. When we do address this everyday sexism, we're often met with more of it. We hear things like angry feminist, you're too emotional, um, or you should calm down. When you really think about it, we should all be angry, emotional and uncalm about the reality that half of the population are still in so many ways disregarded, patronised and condescended. Instead, many of us are numb to it and that is even worse. This House needs to send a clear message to everybody that there needs to be zero tolerance for sexism. The member of the Irish Greyhound Board also claimed my remarks were waffle. I would like to put on the dull record that none of my remarks were waffle, the opposite. They were all fact based on research, much of which was done by the Irish Greyhound Board itself. He hasn't challenged any of those facts. He has only challenged my personality and pointed out my gender. So I'd like to take this opportunity to invite this member of the Irish Greyhound Board to take part in a debate about the facts that I have raised in relation to the greyhound racing industry. The viability of the industry, the animal welfare issues associated with the industry, the public disquiet about the state funding, um, and I'm sure a national broadcaster would be happy to facilitate it and I'd be happy to arrange that. An important thing to note is uh, that although the Social Democrats motion was defeated last week, we have another opportunity to finally put an end to this state throwing a blind eye at an industry's flaws and more money at its failings. It says a lot that the industry and public representatives simply don't have a legitimate argument. I have yet to hear one from any of you. Last week, I highlighted many very worrying aspects about this industry, the frightening levels of animal cruelty, the extraordinary cost to the taxpayer and the staggering loss-making nature of the industry. The enormous public support for an end to the state propping up this very problematic industry, shielding it from commercial realities, receiving extraordinary sums of money from the public purse while breeding 6,000 dogs annually to kill them. The vast majority of the general public cannot understand why government continues to blatantly ignore common sense on this issue. 
not only does our government plan to continue funding it, which to my surprise was supported by all government parties, Sinn Féin and the Labour Party, it is also increasing funding by 2.4 million, bringing the total allocation in the 2021 budget to 19.2 million, and it doesn't have to be this way. It is scandalous, unacceptable and indefensible. Thank you, Deputy Kearns.